Hello peoples! Today we'll set the right amount of kilometers on our odometer and we'll change the odometer gears as they are known to break. Now let's dig right in! So something a little different today, if I'm correct, <laughs> we know how to do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, in order to correct the kilometers we'll have to remove the odometer from the cluster and that means we have to take the cluster apart. First thing we did was to remove the 9 T10 screws around the edge. Now we should be able to remove the front, if we got all screws out, that is. Hmm. Did we forget one or two? Hmm. Yes, indeed we did. There are two more T10s right beside the warning light plugs. Let's try that again. Aha! Hey, how it's, easy can it be? That's more like it. <laughs> right then. Next up we remove the faceplate which is just held in by force and so it took some wiggling around to get that out. Now in order to keep the gouge needles from moving, we made sure to keep the faceplate facing upward. Alright, and there's the odometer, which we are going to get out right now. And in order to do so, we removed three screws on the back, holding the odometer in place. It looks very fragile. Hmm. It's stuck on this side. Yeah, that's it. Next step is to open it up and well we need to change the kilometers on it about exactly 100,000 kilometers but now that we're in there we'll also change the two gears which is a big one and a very small one so yeah let's get in there right now we need to remove uh, that one and that one to get the engine engine <laughs> that one and that one to get the motor off um, yeah Huh, there's a metal one in there right now. Why would we replace a metal part with a plastic part? Well, we do need to replace those two, just to be sure. Maybe they're not broken, but well, seeing as we're in there, we're gonna replace them. The thing we are most worried about is going to be adjusting the kilometers. And that should be possible by... There is a very small little pin right there. And that is something which you can push through. And if you push it through until you got three of the gears free, we should be able to freely turn those three digits. And then if we push it the other way around, we should be able to adjust the first three digits. But that's all speculation. In theory. <laughs> and theory indeed. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Right, let's dig in. Well, this is something you do not want to happen. So, at this point we had to figure out a way to get that little gear back into position. The first thing we did, however, was to make sure the other gears were locked back into position by sliding the pin a little further back in. After that, we adjusted the leftmost digit from 4 to 5 and then spent about 10 minutes trying to get that gear back into its little seating. Ah. 
So in case if that gear ever falls out, it's just a matter of wiggling it around a little and then get it in place again. Let's push it back in there. Okay, see there, that's right, it's through again. Now we just gotta get it through to the other side and that aligns nicely. So yeah, that's all good. And we got the 507, which is also good. Now, let's push it all the way through. Do we want to risk the other side? That's what I'm thinking about still. I think that should be it. 507, 562, and it should be 696. Yeah, do we want to risk that? So we could turn it like this for about... Well, it's not it's a too slow. Kilometer. kilometer? Yeah. Kilometer. Well, that was 10. Let's keep going. Are we really gonna do it like this? We're already at six, so... Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's not risk the, <laughs> the other gears falling out. Now, six, nine, six is what it read, well, two months ago. A while back. And we did drive it on the private property a little, and I think six, nine, seven. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we should have read it out before we started this. <laughs> Let's see how it looks with the front plate on. 507-697. That seems about right, yeah. Good. Let's put it all back together. Now there is one little thing I would like to mention. If you ever need to adjust this, the gears inside here have two different kind of pins. Uh, so make sure you get the right pin in the gear for the digit itself. So the gears are not broken, they are a little worn however, especially this one is a little worn. Those teeth are a little bit, yeah, they're a little bit crooked. And we did order both, so yeah, let's replace them both. That should fit in those two gears which are inside already, like so. Now let's put the motor back in. that oh my god he found a toy again <laughs> right you have meal right let's get that back in there Number three, that's the last one. And now the odometer should be attached to the panel again. All right, let's put the front face back. It will find its way. It's just like life. Of course, it would not be complete without a proper cleaning of this yeah, dirty little window. So let's do some cleaning. That is the correct mileage, I wanted to say, but those are not miles. Kilo kilometer standing. Mileage in kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yes. the correct amount of kilometers. Right, so we found the original manual. 
And apparently we placed the wrong bulbs in the cluster, so we're gonna have to change those. Those need to be 3 watts, and we used 2.2 watts. So yeah, we're gonna have to change those later. And that is all we could do for today. So thanks for watching, and see you the next time. Hey, hey. <laughs>